just watched this. Oh my god! Have you? What's the guy's name who killed Bin Laden? Um, well, there's two guys. There's the redhead guy who who was the first, the guy who actually shot him in the face. Yeah, I forget what his name is, but I just watched a podcast with him, and he was basically he was walking uh, he was walking us through the whole when they went into that building that Bin Laden was in. And how they were like walking up the front. They were walking up the stairs to get to the top level. Right. And when he saw Bin Laden, he said he had one of his wives, like he was holding onto her shoulders and like using her as a human shield. Right. And his two year old son was on the bed and um, he shot him. And they're asking about like the photos of Bin Laden, right? Like the photos online. You can see, you can find photos of him after he was shot. And the guy who was interviewing him was like, What's, so those photos aren't real. Like, are those photos legit? That's the guy. What's his name? Robert O'Neill. Robert O'Neill. Yeah. yeah, Rob O'Neill. He goes, he's like, he goes, oh no. He goes, I shot him in the eyeball. I shot him right through the eye three times from six feet away with a forty caliber, or a, I forget what, what type of bullet it was, but it was a high-powered fucking rifle. Sure. He said he shot him three times. He goes, his face from his nose up was completely V'd. He goes. He goes. Which I is possible? Because I shot him from six feet away with a fucking massive, massive rounds. Sure. He goes. The, his his face was unrecognizable. He's like, when we were taking the photos to send him back to the Pentagon, or to send him back to their commanders or whatever, he was holding Bin Laden's head together. He had to hold his head together with both hands while they poured water on top of his head to, to get off to, all the blood and to get off like, all the blood and stuff because it was unrecognizable after they shot him in the face. Yeah. Like why when they were the, why they had the fake doctored photos of his fucking head and you Well, know. listen, I man, this whole thing gets even more com- convoluted than that. Even though that um Rob O'Neill says he did it, there was a book that came out and a, a guy named Matthew Bissonette, he's also a SEAL that went in there, said that he killed Bin Laden. Really? So, yeah. So there's a whole there's a whole interesting thing about this. Not only that do they supposedly when and this is going, we're going to get off on a tangent here, but supposedly Bin Laden's still alive. He's in Iran. The Iranians at the time that the, after they after uh, President uh, Obama came out and said they killed him, called them and said, "This is the Iranians calling calling uh, Osama or not Osama Bin Laden, but calling Obama and saying, hey, you guys didn't kill him. We have him right here. You better pay us five hundred gazillion dollars, or we're going to release this information and you'll never be president again." So supposedly, and there was this large, massive amount of money. And I want to say it was like five, five hundred million or five, some um, unbelievable amount of money that went to the Iranians that the Obama government sent over there, which I questioned initially. But then one of the stories came out that when they found out they hadn't killed Bin Laden, they dumped his body out of a helicopter over the water. Right, I heard, I heard they dipped him off like a like a ship or something. Well, this this I heard off a helicopter. It was the seals going back after they Maybe, had got uh, him on the now? Was what it ha- that was a proper burial for him for a Muslim well, or something? They say that, but that's not how you bury a Muslim. For sure, that's not how you bury a Muslim. Huh. That's a daylight burial. You have to be they have to be buried in the same in a, in, a, in a direction. I think it's to the west, um, which points to um, their religion and their church. Mm-hmm. Which just and there's a whole other process to it. But when he talked about this. The first thing you do, and they did this with um, Saddam Hussein. Now, listen, they took Saddam Hussein from his side. They brought him over. They hung him by the neck. Right. We saw him getting executed. Saw him getting executed. There's a video of it. There's There's autopsies. But they do a DNA scrape on him also. Right. To confirm that that's who this was. They did not do that with Bin Laden. Which is weird, right? It's very weird. Why? So I've never, I've never, I've asked many people, even CIA people, John Kiriakou, I had him in here, and I've never had a convincing reason, convincing, like, like, like okay, like a reason, a, a reasonable will, explanation to unless why. it wasn't him, unless it wasn't. So yeah, they that's said that's crazy to say, like to say they they, fuck, they didn't fucking kill him. I mean, it's well, just why is there two seals that claim they killed him? I've never I, heard about the other guy. Oh yeah, oh, like I said, he actually uh, Matthew Bessonet came out with a book, and he uses a different name as kind of a like a. a, a well, I'm t- what's the word I'm looking for? He Did used, he claim he was on the same team that went in with? Oh yeah, with uh, oh yeah. He's a SEAL. This guy's our true SEAL the whole time. So he yards. was with O'Neill. Yeah. Had they ever asked O'Neill about this guy? Well, see, that's the whole thing. They have, I, there's another SEAL program that's on, on, on YouTube, and they brought these guys in, and they were talking about this. And I said, listen, bring these guys in. Bring B- Bissonette in and, and, and uh, O'Neill. Let's find out where they were at in the building. Where were you at in the stack? The stack being, you know, the, the, the guys standing in line before you make interest into the building. Yeah. So, I mean, if you can tell us where you were at in the building, that's going to tell us whether you shot Bin Laden or not. 
So, but they won't bring these two guys together, and I keep egging them on. Bring these guys on the show and ask them where they were. Stop. We won't have to guess right. anymore, right? Right. Because I promise you, we're going to find out exactly where they were mm-hmm. in the stack. Mm-hmm. So, and at that point, we'll be able to find out who actually killed him. Mm-hmm. But it, you know, when just before Trump got out of office, there was this whole f- leak from the CIA about this guy who was a living in Saudi Arabia. He was living with royalty. He's an American, and he's a falconer. Falconeering is real big over in Saudi Arabia. And he came out and was one of these guys was saying, oh, there's a lot more going on here. Falconeer. He's mean, one of those people that like fucking fl- falcons fly around that's and lay it. on their hands. That's it. Really? That's it. Well, listen, that's a big business over there. Really? Oh, man. we went. Out, I went over there one year. To Saudi Arabia? To Saudi. And we were dealing with the prince. And so we were selling him guns. And they came out. There was, must have been 40 or 50 people out in the middle of the desert. And they let this little animal go. And it took off across the sand, and you know, about a minute later, they let this falcon go, and the falcon swooped down and got it. And these forty people all started clapping their hands, and I'm looking around like, "Hey, should we be clapping? I don't know. I didn't <laughs> clap anyway, yay! I don't understand what the hell I'm looking at." It's so, <coughs> excuse me. The um, they they said, "Hey, listen, the, the prince wants to see the guns." So I, <coughs> we got the guns together, brought them over to him. Well, when you fire these things, they have a tendency to rock you back a little bit. Mm-hmm. So what I did was I stuck my hand up behind his shoulder just so it wouldn't rock him back. And I touched him when he shot the gun. And two guys broke out of line and started running at me. And he screamed something at them. And the handler that was there turned to me and goes, don't you ever touch the prince again. Those guys were coming over here to kill you. Don't you ever put your hands on him again. What prince was this? Uh, prince, I'll have to go back and look now. There was two of them that were there. Um, and he was the, there's like, dude, there's like, like 500 princes there, which was kind of oh, unusual as well. Okay. It's not like the prince. He was breastfed from King Fossil's wife, and there was a whole story behind it. Even when we, we finished up that day, and we had gone back to... So it wasn't Ben Salman? What's that? Ben Salman, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, it was... I don't... I can't remember all the details on it now. But we went back to the facility after the fact, and I was sitting down because I had crossed my legs. I was sitting at the end, and chocolate over there is major league expensive because there is no place to get chocolate from mm. over there. So I was eating this chocolate and I had crossed my legs and two of the commanding officers that were both um, Iraqis, or excuse me, Saudis, had a fit because I was showing them the bottom of my shoe. And they were down there, you know, bitching at me about, and I'm like, I don't understand what he's saying. The other yeah. guy's like, hey, put your foot down, put your foot down. They don't want to see the bottom of your shoe. It's a big, big offense. Huh. So I don't want to. So there was some things I was learning there that were kind of odd um, that they do from from a cultural perspective. Yeah. But again, trying to look at the overall, like I say, with that that day touching him, um, even when we were there, the females had just were able to start driving cars, mm. and the Muslim Brotherhood was going around and shooting these girls who were driving cars. So it was mm. it created its own problems, you know, right. internally with the country. Right. But um, it it was interesting again to see what the take is on this whole Bin Laden thing. You know, which of the seals killed him. Um, what's the story there? Because it was even odd. Do seals typically don't come out and talk about the operation? So that was even kind of weird. So yeah. you know, it was just odd. You do, so I mean, is it a smoke screen? Are they just trying to make us really convinced that they really killed this guy? Um, at the end of the day, why they didn't do a DNA scrape on him is above and beyond me, which is, just adds to the whole story. But mm-hmm. then it doesn't sound real. You know, why would the government do that? I don't know why the government would do that. I don't know mm-hmm. if the, if we really do have a thing going on with the Iranians. Um, you know. I, yeah.